Hmm, bit a tragic here, and we are back with the Elven Entanglement, and it is Wrath of the Righteous. Let's get into this. We've closed one gate, and this deck is on its side because we know the, the villain is in there. Now, we have quite a bit of time left. We've run down two rounds, so we've got a few rounds left to go. So I think we're in a pretty good position. This quest hasn't been as hard as I was led to believe. But, you know, it's always last word, isn't it? Yablamo. You have a ghoul. Check to defeat nine. He's immune to mental and poison. That shouldn't be a problem for us. We have, what is it, a d10 plus two. Plus we get a d8. So hopefully that'll be all we need. Yablamo, yablamo, yablamo. And there we are, easy kill. And I think I'm going to do a blessing to... Oh, wait, can I do that? Yep, there's no uh, corruption on the top of the deck. So we can't explore our location without having any price to pay. So let's pull one out. Bango. Yoink. Ooh, Maggot Swarm. Each character at your location summons and encounters a giant Maggot Swarm. So, does that mean we need to fight two? Each character at your location. I'm a character at my location. So, I think I've got to fight two of these. Before you act, he deals one acid damage. That's pretty bad. And then we have to beat him. We have to beat him by at least four. So, we need ten or more. Okay, so we get 15, so that beats him. We now fight the second version. We get another acid damage. This is a summoned one. That's 10 or more anyway, so he is defeated. And we lose our horsey. That's not good. Okay. What's going on over here? Oh, this is where we have to fight the guard first. Again, it shouldn't do too much of a problem. These early rounds shouldn't be too hard with Earthbreaker here. But we only need nine to win. We get 21. Gives you an idea of how much we're owning that position. Okay, let's uh, explore. Yoink! Cave Viper. All damage dealt by the Viper is poison. Before you act, he deals one poison. So, let's get rid of Detect Demon. If the check to defeat has a cold trait, which we don't. But it doesn't matter, we have this ginormous uh, hammer. We only need eight to kill. So, it should be a win. Your blammo, and unfortunately we have no way of actually exploring any further. So let's discard that. Now over here, we have Sheila. Now she has a cure in hand, so we'll get to use this this turn. I like to wait until I've at least got five cards in my graveyard before I use my cures. Oh, Tangle Trap! Okay, so... Okay, so we reveal a weapon with slashing. That gives us an extra d4. And then we're going to do our strength, which is a d8. Um, I'm going to spend a Blessing of Ascension, whatever it is called, and get another d8. And I'm paranoid about losing this roll. 15, that's a hard pass. Let's just see what would happen if we rolled without. I should have done this because it's we, it's a better than 50-50% chance. Ooh, 6. See, would have failed. Awesome. Okay, so we have killed the Tangle Trap and we do have Vinced in hand. So, yonk, let's get rid of him. And that automatically closes this location. On closing, draw a random weapon from the box. Give us something good. Something good. 
composite bow, not bad. Okay, so she is then going to do a cure, which is a 1d4 plus 1. Yomp, yoing, yomp. Five cards, beautiful. Couldn't be better than that. We're also going to discard the bow. And I'll discard the sickle as well. Oh wait, we've got to do the, the thing I test, right? It's a wisdom a wisdom one test to roll a eight. So we basically need a seven. Okay, so that's fine. One, two. Okay, so we've got a second place closed. That's good. Now, uh, advanced blessing deck. Quink. We are going to spawn the tree. We have to take one damage. Uh, ooh. I guess I'm going to get... Oh, wait. Before we put... Before we have a turn, we're going to do... Valorous into our hand because it's a cohort and we can get cohorts on our discard pile. Then I'm going to use the fiendish tree to the acid, the the, dam the opening damage will hit that guy again, put him back in the graveyard. And then I'm going to fire blade this guy. So that is a D8 plus one plus uh 2d4 and because it has a fire crate we get an extra d8 oh i just don't know it feels like oh wait you know what else i've also got the sages journal bam that's another d4 yeah i think that's going to be enough let's uh i don't know for some reason i'm really paranoid about this roll failing so i'm going to use learn as well while displayed shuffle this card into your deck to add 1d8 I'll put another D8 back in. Yeah, blammo. Definitely going to hit it now. Boink. 20. So he is dead. Put this in my hand. We get a D8 plus 1, I think, is our wisdom. Yep. We need a 8. So we've got to roll a 7 to keep this card. Ooh, so... Oh, we... Well... We've got to roll a natural seven to keep this card, I should say. You blammo. And we get another copy of Vinced in hand. And now we also have a need to do another damage. I'm going to actually discard the crossbow. Oh, maybe not. Now I'm going to discard the Sage's Journal. One, two, three, four. So the question is now, do I want to dig any further into this deck? I don't think I really need to dig any further into this deck because she can close this deck when required. So I think I'm just going to stay there. One, two, three, four, five. Excellente. Okay, let's advance the blessing deck for you. Clean up those used blessings. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, that's right. So, this girl, we want to get Kyra over here because the divine trait, discard a divine trait card to uh, close this. But somewhere along here, oh, yeah, this one here. No, that's not it. Oh, we've got to deal with this molten pool somehow. One of these things had a a knowledge check. Wisdom survival, yeah. So we basically got to swap these two people over. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to send her to this spot here. And she gets to explore twice because of that location's ability. Basically, it just says, when exploring, examine the top two cards, shuffle one back into the deck. Oh, but before we do that, I'm going to use this thing here. 
recharge this card to recharge a boon that has the magic trait. So I'm going to recharge this and get my ring of cleansing out of the, the discard pile. And now we need to bite, fight this guy. Oh wait, we've got two, don't we? What's, what's the other card? Ah, oh, it's the it's the boss. So we'll put that one back in. You may not play spells that have the attack trait. Okay, well that's bad. <laughs> Before you discard the top card of our deck. Okay, so this is bad. That means we have to fight with a d6. We need 14. So that's another d6. It's another d6. I think we need four d6s to make this work. Oh, well... Oh, if only I'd used uh, Kyra to give Edwin the, the second card. So basically, we've got three D6s, which is not good. Three D6s gives us, what, nothing. That's like a... God, that's not even a 20% chance, right? Something like that. We need at least four, and that's probably... Yeah, we need at least four... And that's just over 50% chance. So this is an incredibly hard roll. Uh, okay. Okay, so how does this work? Discard this card to add two dice to any check attempted during the first exploration of the turn. There's no... This is the first exploration of Honora's turn. It doesn't say anything about ha having to be on her go. Can I use that? Can I add two dice that way? If I add five dice, it's a guarantee. It'd be like 80% or something. If I have uh, four dice, it's only going to be like 58 or something like that. You know, almost a little under 60. Hmm. I don't know. This is a really important role. <clears throat> because it will kill us if we die here because we've only got four cards to draw. I think I'm going to have to pause this and post a question on Board Game Geek and ask them because I do not know. I feel like we can't do this. Even though it says discard this card to add two dice to the... Yeah, I don't know. Discard this card to add two dice to any check attempted during the first exploration of the turn. This is the first exploration of the turn, but I think there's separate rules for spending blessings for other people. It doesn't work the same as spending a blessing for yourself. I'll have to check this out. I'm going to save this and peace out, baby. Save it to my YouTube folder. B02-03. Huh? Okay, I will be back later. Okay, I am back. I'm back, baby. Uh, okay, so there's been a quite a long break. It might be seconds or milliseconds for you, but it is an entire day for me. So I kind of don't know where I was. I know I was on the last turn. Uh, and these turn markers don't save their position yet. So they still recognize each other as all not advancing. But we've advanced. The only person we haven't advanced is Kyra. So here was the situation. We drew the golem. And it's got a 14 combat, but it can't be attacked with spells. So we have to attack with a D6. So we have one D6. We spent one blessing. We spent two blessings. That gave us another two D6s. But even with three D6s, we're still looking at like, you know, under 20%, like 18 or something percent to get 14. You know, so we need preferably two more. Like even, even if we get one more, we're still only around 58 or something. Two more actually gets us into the 80. So the question was, with Blessing of Baphomet, if I play that to help another player, do I get 
the ability which says discard this card to add two dice to any check attempted during the first exploration. It is the first exploration for Nora, but I could have sworn there was some kind of rule that separated helping with standard use of blessings. So with the standard use of blessings, all the text applies, blah, 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 blah. But I thought it was like, and you can discard one blessing per character to add one die to someone else's check as a separate rule that was independent of all the other text. But it turns out that's not true. The card text does activate, which means we can add this and get another two sweet die, which would give us an 80% chance which means we should definitely hit this now. Near blammo. And we do. 18. Nice. So let's discard all that. And let's draw to... I'm going to... Yeah, let's draw... 1, 2, 3. Okay, we get the fiery glare. We've got a blessing. And we've got tons of spells. Right. So now... Here's the situation again. This thing here, we've got six cards in here. We know that the monster's in there, like the villain is in there. So we just get in, got to get into a position to close these things. So the end goal is to get Kyra to the Molten Pool. Because the Molten Pool's really nasty. Look at this. It's got two monsters. It's got three barriers. And you take a damage for every turn you simply stand there because it's so hot. But that doesn't really worry us because we know that the villain is not in there. So we do not have to search this deck at all. I mean, all it's got are Banes. I mean, there's one weapon, one item, one blessing, but who cares? So we're going to send Kyra there. And then when she's there, we're just going to use her ability instead of your first exploration. She's just going to do a heal. Every turn, do a heal and not do any exploring at all. And the damage won't affect her and everything will be cool. So that's the plan, because all she needs to do is take one damage to close this. So she's going to go here. We're going to have Anora is going to go to the Dark Forest and kill the person with the big, with all her spells. And, or maybe even Serena. Or maybe I'll send Serena. Maybe I'll send Crow to here. Actually, no, that won't, because next turn, we still need to close this, don't we? Anyway, the point is, uh, we're going to send Kyra to here. So I've been thinking about my turn. I've kind of confused myself about what was going on. Let's finish this round, though. So Kyra, before she does anything, she's going to do a cure, which is a 1d4 plus 1, and heal Anora. Yoing! Good blowing. Oh, only gets two cards. That's a bit of a waste. One, two. And then it's a D12 plus two. Oh, and advance the blessing deck, of course. E11, so that is a recharge. Okay. And now for her move, she's gonna move over here, like so. Sweet. Now. I think that's uh, well. We haven't done an exploration yet. I don't really want to do a heal because we've only got three cards in there. I like to heal when I have five or more. So we'll do an exploration. You'll note that I've gotten rid of the explore button as well. You now you now just click the results button to get a card. Oh, tangle trap! Oh no! I don't know if we can do this. What we've got? Swordbreaker has slashings so that gives us a D four. Plus we only get a D6. So we only need seven. We have Blessing of the Dawn Flower. That gives us another D6. And we have another Blessing here. That gives us another D6. Oop. So three D6s and a D4 to get seven points. I think that is pretty good. Ooh, looks like there's some kind of error with the new button. 13, that worked. We only needed 7. 
So that is destroyed. And then we can discard Vince, which discards the location. On closing, you're dealt one poison damage. And we take a poison damage. Let's get rid of burst bonds because you know we're never going to need it now. And we're good. So let's draw another three cards. One, two, three. There's another cure. We have a fire blade, holy water. That's excellent that we can use her first, uh, her first uh, pull to kill a tree again. And that's about it. We are now ready to pretty much finish this game. All I need to do is position my people. I could, pro I might even be able to finish this game this round with uh, by moving Sheila to here. If we're lucky, we can draw. Sheila has, you know, she's got no way. Oh, she does. She has a recruit, so she can draw a second time, which means we can look at four cards out of six. We have to shuffle each time though so but there's a high chance we can actually draw it so we need someone to get to the molten core so move sheila to molten core yeah so if we move sheila to the molten core next turn and nora might be able to uh to finish the game i'll have to figure out what's going on with this and why that blessing is not showing the text anymore Anyway, that is the end of this, and I will see you guys next time.